Hi guys, this is David at Parabolics. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble our 16-sided parabolic reflectors. All the 16-sided reflectors come ready to mount with the support rods already attached to the speed ring. All you need to do is rotate them into position and lock them into place. Then we'll secure the reflector using the Velcro tabs. This makes the setup, breakdown, and transport very easy. When setting up and breaking down the reflectors, you want to make sure you work with opposite pairs of support rods at a time. This will make it much easier for you and ensure that the tension does not get too heavy on one side of the reflector. When you do this right, both setup and breakdown should take about one minute. Today I'm using the Parabolix 40 for a demo, but all of the reflectors work in the same way. I'll give you right-handed instructions and left-handed users can just switch the hands. Hold the rubber part of the speed ring with your left hand and place both thumbs on the metal part for support. As you lift the support rod with your right hand, push down with your thumbs and you should hear the rod lock into place. Now rotate the reflector around and do the same for the opposite side. Once the first pair are locked into place, continue with the next pair in the middle of the previous two. Continue this process until all support rods are locked into place. Now that all support rods are locked into place, we'll secure and tighten the reflector using the Velcro tabs. Again, just like before, we'll work with opposite pairs at a time. Hold the speed ring with your left hand for support. Grab the Velcro tab with your right hand, move it over the support rod, and connect it to the soft Velcro side. Now just tighten the rest of the Velcro tab. Rotate the reflector around and do the same for the opposite side. Continue working like this until all Velcro tabs are secured. Now your reflector is fully assembled and ready to mount. This complete process should take you about one minute. Attaching the reflector to the focusing mount is very easy. Insert the focusing mount into the speed ring, close the latch, and you're all set. To break the reflector down, you first want to loosen all the Velcro tabs. With this step, we don't need to work with opposite pairs. You can just loosen them in order around the reflector. Once detached, keep the Velcro tabs attached to each other in a loosened state below the support rod. This will make sure the adjacent tabs don't stick together to each other and make it easier for you the next time you want to assemble the reflector. Once all the Velcro tabs are detached, now we'll just unlock all the support rods. For this step, it is important to use opposite pairs at a time. This will help you balance the tension as you work with it. Place both hands on the speed ring. Push down with your thumbs while lifting the support rod. Then release the locking part with your index finger. It's that simple. Repeat the process for the opposite side. Keep working with the middle pairs until everything is complete. Now you're finished and can put the reflector back in the bag. 
Breakdown of the reflector should take about one minute.